How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. So we are just picking up where we left off in the previous video and I have just had myself a lovely lunch and I've also managed to lock down two more jobs, which is good. So we'll get the tractor going and we'll head out to the first job. Now both of them are quite big jobs by the sound of it, but it also sounds like we're going to be working with some decent sized equipment. So hopefully we can get both of these jobs done today. If not, it's not a big deal. We can always carry on tomorrow. Now, the one job is a fairly big cultivating job. It's actually one of the fields that we recently harvested. The other job, which we're going to head to first, is a mowing and baling job. But I do also know that we are using a self-propelled mower, so that sounds really good. I don't know how big it actually is, but yeah, self-propelled, that is usually a sign of fairly big equipment, but like I say, it is a fairly big field. So we'll see when we get there what we're actually working with. So we'll mow that, bale it, and then we'll collect the bales and drop it off for them as well. And it is quite a well-paying job. So I'm hoping after these two jobs, we'll be somewhere in the region of, well, having enough money to actually buy a small property i don't know if we'll be quite there but i think we'll be really really close and there is a little property that i'm obviously very interested in we've actually taken a look at it previously uh, we haven't actually been on the land but it's actually right at the end of this road and yeah you can see most of it from the roadside but when we do get into that region of being able to afford a piece of land I'll definitely find out more about it and get a, a price on it, an actual accurate price. And also find out if we can go take a look. Because I do want to see how far that property, property actually extends backwards. It is a little bit hard to see from the road. But yeah, that's exciting times. I'm hoping that we'll be uh, close to buying a little piece of land very, very soon. Now, I'll probably continue to do work for other people in the area even when we do buy the property just because it is going to be a small property and at first there's not going to be a huge amount for us to do so we'll we'll work towards it also we need implements we have absolutely no implements at all we've only got the little tractor so we're definitely going to have to have other means of income and doing the contract work is a great way to do that so yeah i mean eventually i'm hoping to stop doing contract work for other people and focus on our own operation but it's going to take a while i think before we'll get to that stage yeah we'll um try and expand our operation as we can but um yeah like i say in the meantime we'll just continue doing what we're doing but of course we'll do as much work on our own property as we can as well so this is actually the little property that i was talking about the shed is a little bit worse for wear but that's fine the roof actually still seems okay, so that's good. Yeah, it looks like it's actually quite a decent sized property. But yeah, we'll have to see when we can actually take a look at it. But there's no point really in me finding out if we can go take a look if I can't actually afford it yet. Because I would like to make an offer on it immediately if it is as good as it looks. So yeah, we'll see. Anyway. I'm going to make my way to our job here. It's, yeah, a bit of a, a bit of a drive to get there. Just because of the road systems here are, well, interesting to say the least. From where we were as a crow flies, the job wasn't actually that far away. But, yeah, like I said, just because of the road systems, it's a bit of a drive. But anyway, it's not a bad drive. Scenic, and it's a beautiful day. So, I'm going to make my way over there. And we'll see what we're working with. And um, yeah, then we'll get into it. Alright, so we are coming up to the field. The thing is, I don't really know how to get in there. So we're going to have to figure this one out. I do see a lot of gates. But I don't know how it's all linked up. And it's hard to see with all of the hedges and crop. But anyway. Okay. Here's a gate over here. Hmm. No. I don't think it's that one. 
Seems to be going only to that sunflower field. Let's see if there's another gate down the road. Ooh, okay, I see the equipment down there. Ooh, here's a little roadway and a gate. That could be it? I'm not sure. It looks like it may be it. Okay. Let's take a look. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe there's more than one gate that leads to this field? But... Anyway. This should do. Yeah. Okay. I think we have made it. Now the equipment does look very big indeed. That looks like a big chrome mower there. Man, that is a nice piece of equipment. Ooh, nice fen tractor as well. Oh yeah, that's a really nice mower. A very nice chrome mower there. Oh my goodness, that is a big piece of equipment. Very fancy. Very nice fin tractor as well. They look so aggressive. I do love the front of the fin tractors. Super aggressive. Okay, we have got a rower. Hmm, will we need a rower? If memory serves, I think these big machines you can set to row as it mows? Hmm. I'll check that. Maybe it's for combining rows, possibly? I don't know. I don't know if we'll do that, though. And we have a nice baler over here. A very nice baler. And then a bale collector as well. That's nice. Hmm. Gonna make life quite easy, that. Okay. Let's fire this thing up. What a nice machine. Oh my goodness, this is a nice machine. Right. Let's get it unfolded. And this is the field in question. Alright. Not gonna get too close to that fence. That should be okay. Alrighty. Let's fire it up. Drop that down. That should drop in a second. There we go. Okay, and here we go. So, it looks on the monitor like it is set to row. I can't really see much, but it does look like it is rowing. It is. Okay, beautiful. Yeah, so maybe... Maybe that's to combine rows. Hmm... I don't know if I'm going to do that, to be honest. I think we'll be okay with just this, because this is quite wide already. We'll see. We'll see when it gets there. But yeah, there we go. This is not a job that I think we'll be doing often, which is kind of sad, because I do have a soft spot for mowing. I don't know why. I do love it. Even with just a simple push mower find it very relaxing but yeah I don't think we'll probably do too much of this but um, we'll take it when we can but man this is a nice piece of equipment what this thing must cost oh my goodness but it does seem like there's quite a bit of money in this area there's some really big operations here which I did not expect but it's good for us because it seems like a lot of these big operations well they need help and that's where we come in. And it's been good for us so far. Very good. And hopefully it will continue to be moving forward. Yeah. Like I say, eventually I'm hoping to not do contract work for, well, other farms around. And hopefully we can focus on our own operation. But I think it'll take a while for our operation to get big enough to actually be a full-time job. To need full-time attention. But... We'll work towards it, and in the meantime, we get to play with some really nice toys like this one. So, yeah, definitely not complaining at all. But yeah, I think what we'll do 
is we are going to get the old lone drone out of the case and we'll get it in the air and um, we'll get this field knocked out. So that is job done and we are on our way to our next job because I do think we can get it done today but I had to just stop for a minute to take a look at that. I mean come on it's a freaking castle with a moat around it. How cool is that? And it actually looks like you can go in there and take a look around which we'll definitely have to do at some point. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to do it today, though, because I really do want to get going and get started with this job. Because maybe, just maybe, we can get it done today. It's 10 to 4, so I think we'll be okay. But yeah, I just had to stop for a minute to take a look at that. That is really, really cool. Anyway, the job, the bailing job, went really, really well. Love the equipment. That mower is top notch it is such a nice piece of equipment so yeah really enjoyed that got it all mowed got it rowed up as we were mowing which was fantastic i never bothered using uh, the rower that they had there to combine rows because it's a big piece of equipment and i felt it'll be fine so got everything hooked up to the tractor then got it bailed up wrapped up and eventually collected and dropped off as requested Something I didn't expect at all though, which I did not know was part of the deal, was I got a cut off of the bales, which means we are currently sitting on 50,376 pounds, which is a lot of money, and we haven't even got paid for the job yet. So yeah, that is really good, because that means that we can definitely start looking, seriously looking, at buying a piece of land. Now, initially, when I realized that we were going to end up with quite a bit of money here after we get paid for that job, as well as the job that we're about to do, I thought, okay, well, maybe we should look at a slightly bigger property right off the bat. But I think I'm just going to stick to something smaller. It's very tempting 
I'll be honest, it's very, very tempting to look at something a little bit bigger. But I think I'm going to play it safe. And I'm going to start small. And the money that we have left, I'm going to put towards more equipment and implements. Because I do want to do arable farming. Which means we are going to have to, well, get a combine. And they're not cheap, even if you go for something small and old. But yeah i i'm very very tempted to like i say buy something a little bit bigger but then we're just gonna have to well do more work to buy uh, the equipment that we'll need to actually work it so i'll take a look around i'll see what's available but i'm definitely gonna find out about that little property that we were taking a look at earlier like i said i did see a guide price online which was around forty-five thousand, maybe just under but I'll find out. I'll, I'll see what they, they're willing to go for. I might put an offer in on it. But I'll take a look around and see what else is available. See if there's anything that catches my eye. And if we can find something that's maybe around the same price but a little bit bigger, then of course we'll go for that. But hmm, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, I guess. But that's very exciting. It's very exciting that we are now actually in a position where we can buy... A piece of land and start our own little operation yeah i think it is i think it's the right thing to do i think that is the next move but like i said i want to play it relatively safe and not go overboard with um, the size of the property because also we only have a very small tractor so even if we have a big piece of land we might not be able to work it because the implements will be that small but yeah like i said we'll see where we end up going with that uh, for now, I do want to focus on getting this job done before it goes dark. Because the shadows are getting a little bit long already. So, not much daylight left, I don't think. Yeah, we'll take a quick look at what we're working with here. And this is, of course, a field that we only harvested recently. So, yeah, familiar. Familiar territory, which is good. It does make it a little bit easier and you just feel... A little bit more comfortable if you actually know um well what you're sort of working with in terms of the property itself or the field itself so yeah we'll figure out a quick game plan but it's just cultivating nothing overly complicated this is the field in question and this is where we were using that beautiful new holland combine very nice indeed and that interesting little tractor i wonder if that's the same tractor we're going to be using today and uh, no, it is a John Deere. Very nice. Maybe a, a little bit newer than our John Deere, I would say. J j just slightly. But yeah, there we go. 6230R. Beautiful. A nice big cultivator. All right. So, we are going to get going on this field. I'll probably run around and create a bit of room around the sort of headland of the field to make it easier for us to be able to turn around and yeah then i guess we'll just sort of run up and down the field and get it done as quickly as we possibly can so we're gonna get the drone back out and we're gonna get this field done hopefully like i say before the sun goes down but i think we'll be okay so for now sit back relax and enjoy
well, that is job done. And it is about half past five at the moment, so it didn't take too long and was quite enjoyable. We also did end up getting paid for that job as well as the bailing job, which means we are currently sitting on a whopping 66,505 pounds, which puts us in a very strong position to buy a property. So I'm going to head back to the old plow. I'm going to get myself a nice dinner because that was a very long day, a very productive day. But yeah, very long. I'm quite tired. I'm hungry. But I am quite eager to also hop on the old interwebs and see what is available for sale in terms of properties in the local area. So I'm going to do that. Nice dinner. See what's available. See if we can get any viewings. We obviously do have that one property that we've been eyeballing for a while. Maybe we can go take a look at that. And hopefully we can buy ourselves our very own property very, very soon. Yeah, I'll see what else is available in the area as well. Maybe there's something that maybe catches my eye and I'll definitely take it into consideration if there's anything. But we'll see. We'll see where it all goes. But yeah, I think we will leave it there for today. So we'll pick this up again in the morning. Hopefully, like I say, we can take a look at one or two properties and possibly end up buying something very, very soon. But we are going to leave it there for today. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up. I'll see you all next time.